up guys welcome back to the channel guys this is our weekly conversation with your person let's see if we can keep them focused in on what they got on their brain right now and focused in on in your connection this week we're going to use island time wellness maruk x's love situations and i'm going to use cosmic tarot for my virgos yes let's jump in let's see whose energy is the strongest for my Virgos this week, y'all know all my readings are meant to bring you confirmations of the things you already intuitively and instinctively know about your person. If it doesn't happen with this reading, you can check out your other sign position. I also do the extra wild card reading. Check that one out. See if I was able to pick up energy there. It's for my Virgos. Let's see what your person is constantly focused in, thinking on right now. Pop. Patterns. Be aware of dating patterns. Stop what doesn't work. Subliminals. Change a subconscious patterns. Ooh, patterns. Patterns. Ooh, God. Hold the energy on that deck. Hmm. Stop what doesn't work. Stop what doesn't work. Changing the pattern. Somebody being triggered in the connection, feeling like they're repeating a pattern. <laughs> this stuff is not working. Let's find out. See what else will come out. Virgo's person. Virgo's. 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 Bring it out for us, please. Who pops on the bottom? And we're getting more than one. Addiction. A bad habits addicted to sex, drinking, etc. Et Destructive behaviors. What else is standing out here? Fights. Arguments creating drama. Moments of tension and options, difficult decisions, exploring possibilities in fear of choosing wrong, choosing the same thing over and over, a pattern. So, yeah, somebody's been triggered. Something in, in our connection has triggered someone. Destructive behaviors, drama, fights, and they are... Somebody is like, am I to re I'm just repeating. I'm I'm drawing in and attracting to myself the same crap. Hold the energy on the deck. Ooh, guys, I don't know if that's you or them or if it's both of you. Don't know. Let's jump into the tarot. Mm, make sure I'm not holding upside down, guys. Mm -hmm. Virgo's person. Shuffle this up a little bit better. Mm -hmm. One more. Fear of choosing. Same thing over again, just a different face. Oh, talk to us. Talk to us. Virgo's person, talk to us. Bring it out. Mm. Pop. Guy King of Pentacles. The stability, this, uh, you yeah. know. Uh, how secure and stable are we in this connection is coming into foreplay. But it's also bringing in somebody that's got a stubborn energy that's not willing to give up. Mm -hmm. Whether it's your person's son or not. Keep talking. Got a Prince of Wands, Sagittarius energy, the mover, the shaker. And five of wands, things feel chaotic and confusing. Uh, with this, with these two energies right here, guys, you know, Virgo, I know it's not your son. <laughs> I know. I know. Uh, you would be more of the earth energy over here. You know that. But we also got somebody standing. We got a clashing energy because uh, what's most important is stability, security. For, a to for the earth energy, the person that's got the fire energy on them is like, ooh, they they the ones that all over the place. Uh, they don't mind taking risks, love adventure, uh, things like that. And, yeah, they just can't sit still too long and don't want to be, uh, how do I put it, the fun <laughs> taken away from life. We do have some arguments and clash going on and things are very disorganized. Our energy is not flowing together. And for one of us, possibly both of us, maybe just one of us, we feel like we're tired of talking. 
uh, we'd, it, we'd feel like what we have to say, what we're feeling, our opinions, our thoughts are not being heard or considered in the connection. And that may be a mirror thing on both of us because, like I said, this is a clash, a clashing energy. This person likes expansion, move, don't sit still. I don't worry about things like that. You're taking things too serious. You're nitpicking things. Um, where this person is like, you just crazy. <laughs> you just all over the place out there. Crazy wanting to do crazy stuff when we need to focus in on stability. Stability. Uh, we're at a very different, different energy level going on here. Let's see what else they want to say. Bring it out for us. Ah, oh, something needs to change. Death, Scorpio. Ooh, Death, Scorpio. Let's see what else. Clarify that change that's happening. Because y'all know with the the death card, it's a permanent change. Something, and, and it's not a sudden. It's not like a tower moment. Oh, it just changed all of a sudden. They just changed all of a sudden. Mm -mm. We slowly knew... Uh, it was approaching. You know, you know you're going to die. <laughs> it's just, you know, what feels sudden about it is the moment that it actually happens. It's like, whoa, wait a minute. I wasn't expecting it this soon. But you know. I mean, you know. So this is an indication changes are known. They're, they're gradual, slow changes that have occurred in this connection. Seven of Cups, somebody's feeling overwhelmed and not quite sure what to do. And we might have somebody somebody going, to you, your head's way into the clouds. I mean, you're living in a la-la imaginary land. You're not getting into, getting real and grounding yourself. Six of Pentacles, card of charity, investing time and energy into something. But it's also uh, sticking with something. And like I said, with the earth energy over here, they're going to stick. It's a stubborn energy. It's persistent. It doesn't want to give up. It will stick even though they know <laughs> it's not working. Ace of Wands on fire. There's a lot of passion in this connection. Not just the fights and the drama, guys. We're talking about physical. There's a physical passion. But that may be dwindling down because it's coming in on that death card. That may be a change. And then we have Eight of Pentacles wanting to work on things. Uh, work through things, being stubborn and wanting to work on things. Uh, Eight of Pentacles is about perfection. Work, devoting yourself to trying to fix something and perfect it. Let's keep on talking here. Mm. Pop. Empress card, our glow up energy. But our Empress is about fertility and abundance. She brings abundance to something, whether it's good or bad, she makes it grow. So let's find out what's being uh, brought in in abundance in this connection right now. Ow! Reevaluation is what's coming in. Constantly reevaluating. We've disconnected at a heart level. We're trying to offer our heart to each other. We do still make attempts to offer our heart to each other, but we're not enthused about it. There's not the fire that there used to be between us and you know we're sitting and going i don't know about this think of a four cups as options that option card mm -hmm. what else uh prince of pentacles virgo 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 <laughs> guys there y'all are slow moving builder mm -hmm. trying to be practical what else what else what else what else mm, pop Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups is about new love, blessings to overflow. Uh, just the fact that we got the Empress and the Ace of Cups, for some of us, there may be children involved or a desire for, you know, children, family, build, something like that. What's amplifying and what they're telling me is amplifying is that four cups on your energy. Of, yeah, I don't know if I want to take the cup from you anymore. <laughs> yeah, because we not. Things have really changed and eroded. And I don't know if it's fixable. But you may be still trying. I mean, you may have spent a lot of time. But you may be reaching that point of, okay, I got, I got to stop. I, this just we're not gonna get in alignment with each other here. We, you know, we're not seeing 
eye to eye on things. Bottom of the deck, we've got uh, the Wounded Warrior, Nine of Wands. Uh -huh. And Nine of Wands brings in more stubbornness of not wanting to give up on something. But everything, everything in the circumstances, your gut feelings, what you know, things like that is telling you. It might be time to go in a different direction because you're beat up, beat up. But being stubbornly persistent about something. King of Swords. Hmm. King of Swords is use your head. Be logical about things. Uh-huh. Get real about things. And there's a devil restrictive oppressive energy. Uh, we need to free ourselves from what it is. And it may be our own stubbornness of just not being willing to, yeah, the blueprint, the blueprint where we're headed together is got that devil sitting on top of it. We're not working on the same blueprint. Mm -mm. The energy's just not working. So, yeah, with the, what's coming off of the bottom is get, we're going to have to be realistic about things and figure things out. Maybe we do need a break. A break uh, in the friction energy going on between us so that we can get our clarity about what what's going on because everything has is centering off of that devil sitting on that blueprint of what we're trying to build together three of pentacles is about um honoring and respecting each other's talents and differences and getting it to flow together because you know when you're building a building you don't just hire a bunch of you know electricians and no one to stand the wall or lay the foundation everybody's got a different different uh, talents that they're bringing in different gifts and qualities they're bringing into it think in can in your relationship what does this person bring into the relationship and what does this person and learn how to find the middle ground and make it click and flow together so that you're building onto the same thing find the middle ground mm -hmm. instead of being triggered by each other in the connection and if that can't happen you may have to get realistic with that uh, king of swords energy aquarius energy and stand in the truthful of what you know aquarius energy it, what what is the motto i know i know what i know and i have to stand in it mm -hmm. so mm, <laughs> yeah let's pull all of them up except the first ones that we got I'm going to go ahead and pull that one up. I can stay tapped into our Empress here. Let's go ahead and get them talking, guys. But just tonight, this, I got a feeling this person, the one coming forward, Virgo, is, is probably standing in this energy. They don't want to, they don't want to lose you. They want to try to work things out and get to that common ground with us but it's it's going to take effort guys and we do have that death card at some point we may have to you know go in different directions separate directions or if we're going together we've got to do things differently in a way that will allow each person to feel authentic in the connection and like they're not having to sacrifice more than what they should Let's get them talking here. Spur goes, pop, awkward moment. <laughs> We're having some awkward moments because they're telling me to put an S on that one. There's a lot of awkward moments between us. You're the one I've been looking for. Yeah, they, yeah I won't give up yet. You can have anyone you want. Why me? Why me? Why do you keep on with me? You're making it really hard to stay away. We do have some physical passion. Physical, you know, passion as far as drama, the disagreements, not being in alignment with each other. But there's a physical chemistry going on between us. That we, that's, especially the Sagittarius, whoever's in the fire energy is like, yeah, I love that. I'm afraid to reach out and contact you. I'm afraid to talk to you. <laughs> Let's simplify that one. I'm afraid to even talk to you anymore. I believe in you. I need you to know that I believe in you. What else? Keep talking. I'm tired of being played. Ooh, I'm hearing uh, what they say. It just it's almost whispering at me. Mind games, manipulations, and mind games. I give you everything I got. Sometimes it's all too much for me. Not all the time. 
Sometimes. Sometimes it's all too much for me. What else? I want you to... I want you to trust me and feel comfortable with me. I need to know that you are comfortable with me and that you do trust me to not be totally irresponsible. I'm trying to look strong. Mm -hmm. Keep talking. Anything else? Mm -hmm. Wishful thinking. I'm trying to be sure. I need... Mm, they're popping me back to this one. I need you to trust that I'm not totally, totally flippant, flippant, irresponsible. I do know how to take responsibility and, and stand firm in some things. But yes, I love, I love adventure. Please try to understand how I feel. And I'm hearing your words. Please try to understand how you're making me feel. How you're making me feel. I'm thinking about making you an offer. Mm -hmm. They don't want to give up yet. What else? I have never opened myself up to anyone like I have with you. Ooh, feel like I can just talk to you until we get into these fights and uh huh, unworthy. I'm unworthy. Ooh, guys. Guys, they're popping me back again. Try, please try to understand how you're making me feel. You're, you, something you're saying, the way you're behaving, the way you're perceiving them, uh, whether you're saying anything or not, you're making them feel unworthy and incompetent. I feel so intimidated, mm -hmm. making me feel self-conscious. And we got confirmation for someone. We've got, ooh, probably all of us. May, Taurus, Gemini. May, the month of May. Hold the energy on this deck. Guys, I don't feel like I need to go through another round of the tarot. Let's go straight to the other side of Big Mama deck and let them keep talking to us. It's for my Virgos. My Virgos. Ooh, Taurus. Taurus. No, no, no. We're not Taurus, guys. Why did I say that? Are we, ooh. Okay, somebody's got some heavy duty earth energy. It's <laughs> probably you in Gemini energy. Ooh, now I'm looking at that. That's some friction, friction, guys. And uh, Taurus is like, you better calm down with your all over the place Gemini energy. <laughs> Do not doubt our love, it goes beyond this lifetime. Ooh, we might have some friction going on, but. We also meant to be together. How much do I mean to you? Focus in on that. How much do I mean to you? You're so intimidating. Sometimes you're very intimidating. Uh-huh. Ooh, why you gotta be so organized? <laughs> Where'd that come from, y'all? I now realize your value. Mm -hmm. I wish you could realize mine. Ooh, may not be just alike but we've got good qualities both of us i've been through so much i don't know if i can start over again mm -hmm. what else june gemini and cancer we got may and june popping out guys Ooh. what else what else i feel like a kid again they're not saying that in a, in, a, in a happy, oh, let me jump up and down. I've been revitalized. I'm aging backwards here. No, they're saying they're saying it with, you're making me feel Im like I'm immature, like a child when, when I, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. We've got July, Cancer, and Leo. Guys, look at this. May, June, July. Woo. Okay. Okay, May, June, and July. Summer month. I'm so nervous and scared. What else popped up here? I don't want to risk it all, but I'm afraid. I want to tell you how I feel, but I need you to hear me when I tell you. What else here? I always feel like I'm getting ready to lose you. Like, mm-hmm. Kind of feeling they feel like they already did. Hold the energy on this deck. Virgos, let's go ahead and get your person to focus in on the deck. They want to give you a final and closing message from this week. Ooh, guys, we definitely... Um, what would I say? Communications, listening. Listening, not just talking at each other, but actually listening 
to each other and considering each, what each other says is like imperative in this connection right now. Mm -hmm. Just so we know we're being, each of us is being heard, possibly understood. It'll help cool some of the emotions down and get us to clarity where we can see where do we need to go in this connection. Mm -hmm. Let's get your person to focus in on the deck. They would like to give you a final message from my bird guys bring it out oh god it's behind me I, think, ooh, I wasn't expecting this one hold on let me get all of it up here there we go we've got soulmate in separation whether we are separated or not guys the friction that's going on between us makes it feel like we are millions of miles apart and out in the cold with each other we'd be in the same room see our breath is so cold between us Ooh, then we get heated up and put on boxing gloves. Talk to us. Talk to us. Talk to us. Ooh, pop. I kick myself for sabotaging this relationship. My life won't be the same if I have totally sabotaged it. I'm not going to be the same. I regret my past mistakes and wish I can have another chance with you. Keep talking. We're ghost person talk. I know I failed you and let you down big time. You've made that clear to me. Ooh, I didn't mean for that to come out, but guys, we're getting close to the Lion's Gate, and y'all forgive me in some of my readings because when the Lion Gates, the energy that starts opening up, I have a tendency to blurt everything I'm hearing. It's like no bars hold. I'm like, stop, stop, because some of that shit you don't need to be saying. You just would not understand what I'm going through. You just would not understand what I'm going through. Most days I don't even understand. Yeah. And last one, guys. One day. I believe we will be together again. One day, I believe we can work through this and, and get in sync with each other and work, work together. Be together. This person does not want to give up on the connection, guys. Virgos, that's all I have for us. I'm sending you love and light. Many, many blessings as always. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope I see you again next time. Bless be.